Hey guys, I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this Truth Talk episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the first brain chip transplant that occurred a few days ago. But before we begin, I just wanted to let my patrons know, I just dropped a new exclusive video about Hollywood's love for pizza. Most of you should know exactly what I am referring to by this. For obvious reasons, I won't be posting this video on here. But if you're a member, make sure you go watch it after this video. You can find the link to my Patreon in the description of this video or in the comment section. Thank you all. Now let's get right into it. Just when I was asking what else could possibly happen in 2024, this news drops right out of nowhere. We all remember that 2023 ended with a bang with Diddy being exposed as a monster and then 2024 started out blazing when the names associated with Jeffrey were released by the courts and we also saw Cat Williams calling out some industry puppets on the Shannon Sharp interview. All of this let me know early on that 2024 was going to be a different year and this news that was recently reported further confirms that to me. I remember back in the day thinking about how the future would be, sitting in my room watching my square box TV. I told myself that by the time I became an old man, it would be robots, cars that drove themselves, AI technology that made electronics talk to us, and cyborgs that walked down the streets. While I'm still relatively young and nowhere near being an old man, the future that I was expecting 30 years from now has arrived early. In 2024, we pretty much have everything that people were expecting the future to have. We have self-driving cars that drive you where you want to go. We have advanced AI technology that answers your questions, smartphones with touchscreens, and even robots that deliver your food. The only thing we really don't have yet that I predicted were those cyborgs. Well, that was until a few days ago. On January 30th, Elon Musk revealed that his company Neuralink had successfully implanted their Neuralink chip into a human brain for the very first time. While Elon was doing his initial testing on monkeys, he recently got the approval last year to move on to human trials. According to Elon, the operation was successful as he claims on his website Twitter, the initial results show promising neuron spike detection, referring to the cellular activity between our brains and our nervous systems. Elon claims that these brain chips are designed to interpret a person's neural activities so they can operate a computer or smartphone by simply intending to move, no wires or physical movement are required. So essentially, putting this chip in your brain will allow you to control your technology devices such as your smartphone and other devices with your brain. Elon confirmed this when he tweeted, It enables control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device just by thinking. The way they put these chips in the brain is also insane to me. Neuralink called their clinical trial test PRIME, which stands for Precise Robotically Implanted Brain Computer Interface. As the name implies, the process involves using a robot to surgically insert the wires of the Neuralink implant into a part of the brain related to movement. According to Neuralink, its implant procedure employs custom-made microscopic needles with the tip being only 10 to 12 microns in width, only slightly larger than the diameter of a red blood cell. The small size allowed threads to be inserted with minimal damage to the cortex. So he is using a robot to perform a brain implant, which is pretty terrifying to me. Just imagine how bad it would be if the robot just malfunctions while doing the procedure. What's interesting is that it was actually reported in an article that Neuralink was being investigated due to the monkeys used during the studies. It was reported that many of these monkeys that were tested on sadly didn't make it, and Elon kept it all a secret. Elon responded to this that Neuralink had not taken out any monkeys, instead claiming that he only used terminally ill monkeys just in case to make sure that if anything does happen, it wouldn't be to a monkey in good health. Elon Musk is promoting all of this by saying the chip is going to redefine the boundaries of human capability, telling participants in the prime trial that they can significantly shape the future of interaction and independence, not just for you but for countless others. Elon is making this Neuralink brain implant sound like the future. To me it does sound like he eventually wants everyone to get this chip implanted. It's almost like he's looking at it like it's the new iPhone. When the iPhone first came out, it changed everything and people went from rarely being on their cell phones to never putting their phones down. Smartphones took over after the iPhone launched and it changed our world forever. The way Elon Musk is making Neuralink sound, he is making it seem like getting these chips implanted in your brain will be normal in the future. Like just getting a new iPhone. Honestly. This concerns and worries me for many, many reasons. It's starting to feel like we're on a crash course to a dystopian future and no one is doing anything to stop it. We are crossing lines that once crossed, there is no going back. To me, this is a clear attempt at humans trying to become gods. Elon is trying to merge humans with technology and the way he is doing it is what's concerning me. 
The first thing that worries me about this is the fact that the idea itself just seems totally wrong. We already spend so much of our time on our phones and using technology. The last thing we need is more phone time, something we're starting to see the negative effects of already. Now, they want us to become one with our phone. This way, our phones are wired right to our brains. Honestly, just think about this. Do you hear all this sound? They're using this to further trap us in our technology. We all know our phones spy on us and collect our data. If you thought that was bad already, imagine how bad it would be with Neuralink installed in your brain. A chip that sees what you see and processes your thoughts. The company already said that users' data would be stored at their Neuralink facility in order to further develop their technology. Essentially, putting this chip in your brain allows Elon's company to know about everything you're thinking and seeing. It's the perfect piece of technology for the dystopian future we are heading towards. I also read that they're planning on putting these Neuralink chips in prisoners as a way to better monitor them. It's obvious this chip is just another piece of technology created to control and monitor us. Social media already studies us and records our data. Now, this would take that to a whole new level. Another thing I don't like about this Neuralink chip is where it's installed. To me, it seems like a pretty accurate description of what the Bible describes the mark of the beast will be. The Bible states that the mark of the beast would be forced onto the population at some point before the end times. In the Bible, it states that the mark will be placed either on a person's head or their right hand. The fact that this chip is being implanted on the brain and Elon claims it's the future, to me just points right to that Bible verse about the mark of the beast. I do see the possibility of a near future where this chip has become mandatory for many reasons. Most of our lives are already digital, and this chip would just take that to another level. In my opinion, this chip does meet what the mark is explained as in the Bible, and Elon seems like the perfect candidate to present the chip. Elon Musk comes from a strange Hollywood family. How strange you may ask? His father Eero Musk actually had two children with his own stepdaughter. His mother was a model in the industry who routinely shows she took the oath with the one eye symbolism, and she was even featured in one of Beyonce's music video that was full of Masonic imagery. Elon Musk comes from a family already part of this demonic system. Looking at Elon wearing this Halloween costume was rather interesting. Back in 2022, Elon wore this Halloween costume to a Halloween party. The costume was very expensive and was called the Devil's Champion. The costume featured a Baphomet head right in the center of it. To me, it makes perfect sense that the Devil's Champion will be ushering the mark of the beast. In my opinion, all signs do point to Elon not being who he seems to be. What's interesting is that online, I found a video of a woman claiming to be Elon's former nanny. She claims she watched Elon when he was a young boy and alleges that she saw him do something very evil that she had to ask his parents if he was the Antichrist. Hi. God bless you. I'm Shalom Girl on YouTube. Um, I love Jesus, Jesus Christ. He saved me. I want to tell you something. I'm an old lady, kind of. I'm 55. I was born in San Francisco in 1965. When I was a girl, I was in San Francisco. I was procured and sent to work for a family for three generations. There was a boy, the boy's mother, and the boy's grandfather. They were coming from Africa. They were white as me, I thought they'd be black. They were coming from Africa. And um, because of something the boy did, I never told what he did. The boy did something very dark when he was very little. And I was just coming to know Jesus. And Jesus saved me. And um, Anyway, the boy did something very dark, and I never told him what he did. And then one day I asked someone in the circle, Imelda, Joaquin's mother. I asked Imelda, I said, is he the Antichrist? I was 13 years old. She didn't even blink. She said, no, but he will present the mark. And when you see him do that, the Antichrist will take the stage. So. Now here we are, 40 years later, boom, that boy is the star of the world. He's the king of the world, but Jesus Christ is the king of my heart. Okay, the boy's name then was El Elyon, but it's changed over time. 
but we're 40 years later and I see that boy everywhere and the world adores him but he's the king of Babylon and I'm going to call you out choose you this day whom you will serve be it God serve him be it the king of Babylon serve him As you heard for yourself, this lady claimed she was watching over Elon at some point and that he did something so bad that she asked if he was the Antichrist and was told that he wasn't, but that he was going to bring in the mark of the beast. While I don't know who this lady is or if her story is even true, I will say what she states is rather interesting. Elon literally wore a costume called the Devil's Champion and then went on to be the man to usher what could be the mark of the beast. The way things are going nowadays, I wouldn't be surprised if what this lady is saying is true and what Elon is presenting to the world is the very mark spoken about in the Bible. Luckily I sleep peacefully at night knowing I follow Christ and whatever plans the devil has should have no effect on me, my brothers, or my sisters. The only people I worry for is the masses that remain lost. To me it's obvious what Elon is doing and what's going on. It's time people wake up and see the truth for themselves. We must remember that every day we wake up, our souls are at stake. And we also must remember to help those who can't see the truth, find the truth. Well, that's it for this video. But before you guys go, I just wanted to remind you guys, I post videos every other day here on YouTube at 1pm Eastern. Many of you have been complaining about not being notified about new videos, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notification bell on. Unfortunately, because you guys haven't been notified, you guys have been missing important videos, so make sure you head over to the channel page and catch up with what you've missed. We cannot let them silence the truth. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.